And welcome back to some more Minecraft Obscurity with me, Anisos. I always say that funny. Anyway, um, doing a bunch of crafting here. I think we're going to just like do a bunch of speed crafting kind of and then I'll probably cut out and do something else. Uh, one thing I will note and thanks for anybody that left me a comment in the last episode but of course I am pre-recording this so uh, at any rate uh, I did check this and I got this guy like down to almost no power so I just went and well, I just silk touched it that time, uh, but yeah, it keeps uh, it keeps its power. So let's go to our regular pickaxe and just show that you don't need to silk touch it, and then you know find a place to put it there. Okay, so there. Yes, these do keep their power, which is great. Uh, the not so great part is I used all the power up and basically just shut off the outputs, so this can start. Uh, building up a bit more. So we need to work on power, obviously. I mean, one survivalist generator is not going to get you very far. Um, but that's fine. We'll work on that in a little bit. What I wanted to do is get back to the quest here that wants us to build all of the thermal expansion. Well, not all of it, but a bunch of the thermal expansion stuff. And we'll see. It probably will want more after this. I think I have all the materials gathered up uh, bricks and flint and copper gears and invar gears and machine frames which are a little bit eh, that's not too bad tin gears plus iron and all that anyway bunch of crafting I did off camera here and let's go ahead and look up the thermal um, stuff so here here they are basically we want to make all of the first ones except they're not at the moment asking for the magma crucible for some reason um, we have we have all this we can make it but I'm not gonna make it till it asks for it because once again it, it's a crafting task uh, oh right and then this pushes everything out of the way anyway uh, if it's a crafting task then we won't get credit for it unless we're on the right step in uh, the book alright there's the furnace the pulverizer what am I missing for oh is it I don't know I don't think I'm missing anything for the pulverizer. We should have copper gears and that. And oh, I'm missing a piss dad. Oh, I thought I had everything prepared, but there's always one more thing. All right, well, I have any cobblestone because it's on this bar. All right, let's put that up there. Now we can make, come on, now we can make piston. Right? Wrong. What are we what are we missing? Redstone. Because I had a piece of redstone for the other one, but not for this. Alright. Can we do it now? There we go. Finally got a piston. Okay, and now we got this. Yes. Pulverizer, furnace, sawmill, which I don't honestly often use, but oh, and this one of course won't work because the iron axe um, won't stack. I haven't used the sawmill a whole bunch in the past, but I mean it, it it's fine if you want to get a bonus output on your your wood and stuff, but I just I don't know, I haven't seen a whole big need for it. Um induction smelter, yes, it wants that. And then we skip the magma crucible and we go to the fluid transposer. And there we go. So we have a basic set of thermal expansion um machines. Now, does it want more? No, that's all it wants. Okay, cool. So, we're going to get a full heart, and then again, either the item duct or the item conduit. And once again, I say the item conduits are better, so let's take those and see what that opens up. Aha! Alright, let's eat the heart. 19. Oh, no reward bag this time. Okay. That's fine. Uh, okay, so this opens up. Ender machinery. Oh yes. Okay. So now this is new Ender IO stuff. Ender IO requires some extra machines to craft the more difficult items. Difficult items. You will need to set up your full suite to complete your progression. Yes, of course. We're gonna get zombie electrodes, conduit binders, Ender Ender resonators. Lots of crazy things. Painting machine. That's another one I haven't done. I have done these before. Uh, augmentation so we can augment all the thermodynamic stuff. Probably going to use Ender IO more than thermodynamics. 
Lava generation. Oh, interesting. Um, lava is not too easy to find in large quantities. Need a way to make it. Magma crucible can melt down blocks and turn them into lava. Oh, right, of course, because we can make... Yeah, that's super inefficient to do that. Um, cobblestone is alright, but netherrack is better. I mean, maybe if we could make stacks in netherrack with the gateways? Possibly? Oh, it's going to give us a full lava drum. Not super worried about this anyway, because... Um, oh, now we make a chunk loader, huh? Because we already have... Where is it? It's in here. Um, 114 buckets of lava from all the lava I've been gathering up. But anyway, let's go back in here see what else we got. Pipes ain't pipes. Okay. Large range of conduits and ducts that can transport your items, fluid and power. Many, most, you may, <clears throat> most you may use both types or you may have an allegiant, allegiance to a certain side. Most you may, I don't know, whatever. Uh, craft one of each and then make your choice. Okay, so we, we already have item ducts and item conduits and whatever. Oh, and then this gives us the transfer pipes from extra utilities, I think. Okay, fine. I'll do that off camera. Chunks loaded, yep. Um, so I was just talking about putting everything into machines, and I was actually just thinking that would be my next thing, is to move all this into a machine. Might still do that, but now it wants us to make a chunk loader. A uh, chunk loader will keep everything running while you're not around. Yeah, if you're living in the cubes, then you won't need any as they are constantly chunk loaded. Uh, it's going to give us a diamond looking compact machine. So you say, hmm. Okay, let's look up that real quick. I want to see which size it is. Uh, compact. Okay, so that would be a giant size. And that's a maximum size. Okay, so what are you? You are... I don't know what you are. Uh, you are upgraded, right? Yes. You are... Oh, you're a maximum size. Oh, wow. Okay. So th this is the nether cube one, and we know how big that one was. All right. I think this is fine. Um, oh, and what's this? Progressive upgrades. Diamond animal farmer shearing adult filter upgrade. Milker upgrade. Oh, wow. If you have progressed with the automation of labor intensive jobs, you may have noticed different tiers and upgrades available once fully upgraded. These machines are extremely powerful. Okay. Uh, oh, and we get a diamond killer out of that. Okay, well, actually, I was just getting ready. I cooked up some stone. I don't remember exactly what else it was, but I was just getting ready to do this. One of the early ones was, uh, here we go, automation is the game. We want to make a stone miner, a stone chopper, and a stone generator, and then we can get an iron version of one of those. So let's go ahead and do that. I think it's really simple stuff, so uh, let's just try it right now. I know, this is like Crafting Simulator 101 or something. Uh, crafting Simulator 2015, there you go. Uh, so Stone Miner, oh, i got to make a Stone Pickaxe first. And then we should have all the things, but then of course it won't stack because these don't stack. Or it won't shift click because those don't stack. And I didn't make any furnace eye. You guys are all going to take a furnace, right? Stone chopper and stone planter, yes. Okay, so I need three furnace eye. Bam. Furnaces, whatever. And let's go ahead and craft these guys up. I think I just missed a little bit there, but whatever. This texture pack is weird. Okay, we got a stone miner. Uh, planter takes a hoe, and a generator takes a block of redstone plus an RF engine, which takes gold, redstone, iron. Okay, well, I don't have all that stuff ready, so let me go ahead and make those off camera, and then we'll turn in this quest, and we get another RF engine, and another hardened energy cell. That's cool. Um, and some stuff. So, uh, yeah, let me get that ready. We'll turn that all in, and i got to decide 
if I'm going to set up out here and do the chunk loader, or if I'm going to maybe use this cube. I, I cleared it out, except for the ladders, I think. So this is maximum size. Um, maybe use this cube for our power generation. Anyway, let me cut out for a few minutes here. I'll be right back. All right, let's do some more things. Yay! Yay things! Uh, what have I done? Oh, so one of the quests early on that I've sort of kind of been ignoring was make a hungry slash culinary generator. And this is a generator that basically eats food and makes power. And I decided to finally go ahead and do that. A, because I need more power, and B, because, well, it's a quest. So uh, it actually takes a survivalist generator. I didn't use the one we already have. I just made another one. They're uh, not exactly too t hard to make. Um, I was going to mention, by the way, you can actually combine where? Here we go. Uh, combine eight survivalist generators together to get a, a times eight. So it'll basically have eight times as much um, power output. But I'm not going to do it for a couple reasons. First of all, the point of the survivalist generator is to be super efficient and, well, kind of slow. Uh, if you go to an 8 times 8, I think you lose the efficiency because now it's 8 times as fast for 8 times as much power. You know what? I'm not sure about that. Anyway, the second, second reason is to do this, you need um, four transfer nodes, which aren't too bad. I mean, we, you know, chests and redstone and filter pipes and all that stuff. And then you need this breath first search upgrade, which is crazy. It takes speed upgrades, depth first, depth first search upgrades, another speed upgrade, which takes a bunch of gold, a bunch of redstone, and then this takes three more speed upgrades. Well, anyway, I mean, it's, it's totally doable. Oh, and you have to do this in a QED, which I haven't even made yet. So anyway, it's all doable. I just, um, just am I'm not going to tackle it at the moment. Okay, so culinary generator, like I said, cul culinary, culinary. I always say culinary. Culinary generator, like I said, it eats food and generates power. So when you're in the generator's interface, you can now see this strawberry juice says, and let me see, two and a half um, hunger and a what six saturation. It's going to make 40,000 RF per tick, RF total, 39,620, at 20 RF per tick. That's based on the uh, hunger, the, the hunger bars it will regenerate or give you and the saturation. So the number of hunger bars is how fast it goes and the saturation is how much total it'll give you. Uh, so that's uh, yeah so that's 20 RF per tick 39,000. If we go to let's say the little beef jerky which is uh, the same two and a half this is 20 RF per tick again but now it's 50,000 RF total because there's more saturation in this than in the uh, the juice. And then if we go to this big beef jerky which is four hunger bars and looks like even more saturation. Now we get 32 RF per tick uh, and 54,000 total. I guess the last one I could check since we're here is the melon smoothies, which are again 20 RF per tick and 39,000. All right, so um, we're just going to throw a couple things in here for the moment. Um, not sure I'm going to use this like full time. There you go, 20 hours per tick for a minute and a half on that one, and depends on what you put in there, of course. Not sure I'm going to really use that for much, but I uh, wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way. Let's see what the quest says. Oh, the rewards are a delighted meal and spaghetti and meatballs. These are super big uh, uh, meals, so that's going to make a lot of power. But I just put something in there and a reward back. I actually don't have any room, basically any room in my inventory right now, so. I'm not going to turn that in at the moment. I keep clicking on things. Stop it. Uh, okay, so this is done. I haven't turned it in, but yeah. So we can make a cobble gen out of that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go work on the automation for a little bit because I wanted to give that a try. We're going to grab this guy here. Actually, I don't even know if we need that. Uh, but we've got the stone miner. And the stone chopper. I didn't make an axe. Quick, let me let me quick just make a iron axe. Here we go. I already have iron in the inventory. Uh, quick, just make an iron axe, and we'll use that. Oh, and that reminds me one more thing. Since we're here, 
I was going to upgrade my Manulian bolts uh, with this slime leaf fletching. Two reasons. First of all, durability 1.4 versus 0 0.8, so we're going to get more bolts. Second of all, jagged modifier. So the more damaged they are, the more damage they do. So less, less durability left on them, the more damage they'll actually do, which isn't a big deal because they have auto repair on them, but hey, it's nice. Uh, so right now, 242 ammo and uh, accuracy of 100%. We're going to go to 386 ammo, accuracy of 99%. So slightly less accurate, but you know what? I'll take 99% for uh, another 150 whatever uh, arrows. Uh, oh, yes, and <laughs> and I meant to mention, I did finally break that uh, spawner in the nether cube, which you guys probably saw. It is indeed a broken spawner of type blaze. So you can actually use this with a soul binder and 2.5 million RF uh, with a soul vial to change it to a different type. So if we wanted, let's say, an enderman spawner, we could do that. Uh, but we will hold on to that for the moment. Let's go see if we can't get these uh, progressive automation things to work once the skeleton gets out of my way. Uh, so I have not done this. I presume we just basically throw it down, give it some power, and away it goes. But uh, I don't know for sure. So let's let's give it a go here. Now for trees to grow, it's going to need dirt. Uh, I'm sorry, dirt. Uh, light. So we kind of have to plant it next to the interdiction torch, I think. Uh, let's let's start by putting down the miner which is here. Here we go. I'm finding it. Yeah, all right, and we need power for the generator. Okay. So I was going to put them here. Let's put... Um, I think I'm going to break that torch finally. So let's put that there. Right now, can I silk touch you and get you back? That's a, that's a curious question. Uh, no. I don't see it. Nope, I think it just disappeared. Anyway, uh, let's take this out very slowly because it's not a pickaxe thing. Uh, so that's the miner. Let's put the generator, which is this guy, right here. And then I'm going to put the chopper right there. I'm hoping... Hmm, the chopper may need to be up one more. I'm not sure. And did I throw it? No, I still have some coal. Uh, okay, so not not ready. and need, need fuel. Need fuel. Yeah, all right. Let's give it. Let's just give it one and see how much that takes. 16 RF per tick, and we'll see how much total that makes. Uh, this guy. Oh, you need a shovel and a thing. Oh, and you take coal directly instead of. Oh, well, I figured the generator would give this guy power, but whatever. Uh, I think it works with tool level too high. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you can't put high level tools in the stone stone thing, huh? Oh, does this mean that like for a stone one I have to put a stone tool in it? Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Okay, well let's make a quick stone uh stone tools, I guess. So we're gonna need an axe, a shovel, and a pickaxe, which I can't do at the same time. Two three just to get started, just to see what's going to happen here. Um, yes, this. I knew there was something there. Alright. Let's see what we get here. It looks like there's an output on the top. Who are you? Oh, Jeb? Huh. That was a different skin. Anyway, it uh, looks like there's an output on the top, so let's give you your, your stone. Oops, not that. Uh, this one. Stone tools. And like a chest, like a chest, probably on the top. And then you're not getting power from this generator, which is interesting. Okay, 12,000 RF from that, but it doesn't go into here for some reason. Range 1. All right, there was another piece to this that I totally forgot to do. Uh, before we do this, okay, let's go. I think I was getting set up to do the last bit. And I forgot to craft it. Um, 
this is not the right thing. Pro progressive automation. The other part of the quest said to make these stone upgrades, which is cook stone around redstone. Yeah, and I didn't have any um, cook stone, so I had to cook more up. And now I have done that. There it is, 45. Yes. So we should be able to make that. And A, finish the quest, and B, try out the progressive automation. Yes, we're done. Uh, we get another RF engine, a hardened energy cell, half a heart, reward bag, 16 iron upgrades, and then either, oh, either 16, an iron miner, iron planter, or iron chopper. Okay, have to give that some thought on, take a look at how much the different things cost, but, uh, you know what, <laughs> that's not going to work. Let's just quiet everybody down here a little bit. Be gone. And yeah, this uh, cobalt limb uh, on the crossbow is definitely worth it. I'm two-shotting, one or two-shotting most everything now. Uh, instead of like three shot, so that's good. Oh, a couple of people mentioned Endarium as Endarium and Signalum as two of the best. Those don't those don't exist in this pack. They're they're not in here. So actually, let me just look up. Endarium is in here, but you can't make it into Tinker's tool parts. There there is no Endarium tool limb or anything like that. So I think for this pack at least, uh, the Cobalt stuff is probably some of the best. Okay, so we have four upgrades. Oh, and it like eats them. Hmm. Well, if, if if I'm just doing this one, that doesn't actually need... I think basically you can give it multiple upgrades. Yeah, there we go. So, those are cheap. It just takes stone. Alright, let's just drop it in there. Range 9. Alright, let's, uh, let's throw some coal in. Need cobble. You need cobble to dig? Yes, you do. Why do you need cobble? Okay, it's mining. We're getting granite, diorite, limestone, stone slab. Oh, it literally dug up a stone slab. Uh, uh, range was nine. Where? Okay, it's gonna it's gonna dig up all my stone slabs. So we're gonna have to break this and put it somewhere away from the base. Yeah, that uh, that makes the, that that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, we probably don't want this digging everything up under the base. Um, I have no idea where it dug up a stone slab, but obviously it did somewhere. Well, all right. So I will move that along. Looks like it works. Uh, the pro some of the problems, of course, are that the tools, here we go, take durability, so right there that's already 100 down, or well, 104 out of 131, and uh, that's not going to work on the long haul. But here we go, we're getting some sand and some other stuff, so let me um, let me move this. Now one question, I guess, is do we get our upgrades back? Well, let's... Um, all right, two two things. One one this has a range nine. If we silk touch it, oh well, there it goes. All right, so we do get our upgrades back once you break it. Good. All right, I'll move that out somewhere else. Um, this one, let's try putting in a stone axe. We'll put it. We don't need any upgrades, I don't think. Add saplings. Oh, and add fuel. Waiting, waiting. Range one. Okay, so it's waiting for one to grow, I guess. I uh, will have to go get some more saplings. Okay, well, I think this will actually work to chop down our little tree here and keep that automation going. That might be pretty cool. Hey, Kurt. Kurt J. Mac. Uh, which is cool because that's basically my only wood income at this point. And um, actually, I had another chest, didn't I? Yeah, here we go. Um, basically, my only wood input. In, in, in income at this time. Uh, so we'll, we'll leave this here. I'll go grab some more sapling. <laughs> you guys are like, in your hot bar, fool! Uh, okay, so there it goes. We'll put some saplings up there. We'll put... We'll put a, which, what else am I going to do with them? I'll just put them in here. And it's... Did it just chop something? I thought I heard a... 
like a chopping sound, but it's probably just probably just me being concerned uh, about what it's doing. So that should uh, let's see. to know for sure we need bone meal. All right, fine. Let's do the bone meal real quick. We should bone meal it and watch it happen because I want to see that it works, and you guys probably want to see that it works too. Here we go, 27 bone meal. Hopefully that will definitely get us a uh, ah, move. Come on, a little lag when you move between dimensions. Uh, you guys probably want to see it go too. So let's get a tree and then. Waiting, waiting. Got to be up one level, doesn't it? Yep. It, I'm sure. All right, fine. Let's put it up one level. Grab that. Grab that. Oops. And the generator. I guess we don't need at the moment. Um. So improved chest can go there. The chopper. So much stuff in my inventory. Needs to go there, I guess. And it needs saplings, coal, a and an axe. It chops add tools. Yes, I did. Uh range of one actually should be fine, so Oh yeah, there it goes. It chops. Hey, it it does chops. Not super fast. And it oh, and it replanted too. And that's pretty pointless to use coal. I think this has the, yeah, fuel pellets. So basically these um, are just an eighth of a piece of coal. And you can just use that so you're not wasting a bunch of burn time when there's nothing for it to do. Alright, cool. So, automated uh, wood output. And I will go move the miner somewhere else and put some, sorry Kurt. Bam. Um, wow, you're you're a cool looking zombie. Who are you? Or what are you? Oh, Father Toast. It would be. Father Toast makes all these mod, all these mods that try to kill you, like uh, what special AI and stuff. I think it is. You look freaky too. Can he? Yep. Uh, Hardcore Ender expansion, right? Listen to me talking about all the mods. All right. Anyway, um, I think that's gonna be it for the moment. Let me check the length on the video. All right, yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. We're just just basically out of time, pretty close uh, for this episode. And I think you know, tell me what you guys think. I I, I always uh, kind of struggle with this. How much how much of the crafting and stuff do you want to see, or do you just want to see progression? And once I've got things working, all right, do you want to see me test that kind of stuff or or what? But uh, anyway, we'll try to strike a, a decent balance there. I think I'm going to move all this stuff and all of this stuff. Not this, I don't even know what you're going to use the stone generator for, but whatever. All of this stuff into a cube, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do that all off camera. Uh, it's going to be just kind of a lot of grindy work setting up things. I've already got some t some tubes and some pipes and some flu flux ducts and whatever. I might switch it over to Ender IO because uh, you can put all three in one one block space which you can't do with thermal dynamics uh, but we'll see so I think I'm gonna like I say I think I'll do a bunch of that off camera and have that ready for next time but we'll see how it works out I'd like to get out there and do some more exploration and stop doing all the crafting and all the questing here but um, gotta gotta get that done too did we Last last check because we were oh yeah we, right we completed this but we didn't turn it in because I need to look at that stuff okay that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one I'll catch you later.